I figured I'd take about eh, 10 minutes-ish and give you a tour of one of my favorite places in Wanamaker, Indiana. A couple of screenshots of some maps here to give you an idea as to exactly where Dreammaker Wanamaker is located at. There's the address right across the street from New Bethel Ordinary. I hear their pizza's pretty good, but I can tell you from personal experience that their tenderloins are amazing. So you go up the steps. We are going to open the door. By the way, you pull, you don't push. <laughs> and when you first walk in, the first thing that you're going to see are these awesome Kilroy candles. And I have purchased many of these myself. Right there's my favorite one, the pumpkin. Oh, it smells amazing. So we're gonna pan over. When you the first room that you're going to walk into is full of built-in bookcases. These rooms are absolutely beautiful. There's your checkout desk. And we're gonna go ahead and travel on over to Ms. B's Christmas room. Now, Christmas is right around the corner. I'm not sure how long this room is going to be decorated and have these things available for sale, but you have to go into this room when you go to Dream Makers because Miss B has some absolutely adorable things. She also has a room upstairs and I will give you a tour of the upstairs sometime here in the next week or two. Those are her little pine cones, uh, Santa Clauses. Love those. We have the fireplace with the mirror and all the beauties on it. Hello, everyone. And yeah, you most definitely need to check that room out. So we're walking out of that room. I'm trying to also give you kind of the layout. So handmade jewelry. There were some pressed flowers. And here is yours truly's area. Now, all of the furniture that's in my area is for sale, too. That is a Hitchcock rocking chair. It's vintage. Absolutely gorgeous. And I'm going to give you a closer view of everything that's available. That red flower painting back there, yeah, yours truly did that. There's a gorgeous painted side table. I, if I remember correctly, I've got a $40 price tag on that, which is pretty reasonable. I have some handmade earrings. That one I just showed you was blue and white flashes for Franklin Central. And then we have some old school photo holder keychains, $3 each. And they all have a little tassel on them. There's more earrings. And as we go across, there's quilts, there's the afghan. We have an ice sickle looking wreath and then as we keep going we have some adorable christmas items a lot of these items are handmade some of them aren't they're vintage but there are some handmade items in my booth and that is a very very unusual and beautiful sofa table and there is the world war one picture of the soldier that i put in there i think two weeks ago so we keep going. We have some vintage ephemera. There's some really cool old magazines in there. And here is my new edition. It's my handmade tag slash bookmarks. These are absolutely gorgeous. They make great stocking stuffers for your readers. And they're reasonably priced. The big ones are $8 and they go all the way down to 3 in my case, I have a Waterford Crystal decanter and some Tiffany china pieces. They're very reasonable priced. And we also have some strawberry shortcake dolls. Some of them have sold. So those are the three that we have left. I have one more to add to that. And then we also have some other vintage dolls. The one in the dress there, she's over, she's over 100 years old. You might want to check her out. I also have some military items. These are new items to me. There are some World War II pillows, some World War II matches. And then on top, we have a birdhouse. I'm not liking this setup, so it's going to be changing very soon. And as we go across, we have a Hummel doll. And then we have some of the coal soaps, which I highly recommend you check out because those are really cool. And then some of my handmade wax melts 
and then we have some lip balms and then the ribbon tree it's beautiful it's gorgeous to look at it's a pain in the butt to make <laughs> but i did it anyway and then up at the top something fun we have these metal letters they're very large and they spell out the word play and we'll get a quick glimpse at some of the other items in the room that great big table with all that beautiful china and glassware on it definitely want to check that out now while i was filming i forgot to film what was behind me in this room so when i do my upstairs walkthrough we'll take care of that because i want you to see everything that is available to you at DreamMaker. This is like the most amazing place ever. Some macrame earrings, aren't those just adorable? And any of the vendors that I know of, that I know where their Facebook pages are, I'll drop links for those. And then we have some handmade ornaments. There's some vintage ornaments on the other side absolutely gorgeous if you look you'll see those santa claus mugs too cute and remember a lot of the furniture is for sale in this place so if you see a piece of furniture that you like definitely look for a price tag if there is no price tag ask at the desk lots of jars you know there's a spinning wheel this i absolutely love robin made this and the cats all the way around and it is a big piece for storage or for display absolutely gorgeous and i fell in love with it when i saw it if i had a place to put it i wouldn't even be showing it to you because i'd have it in my house there are quilts there are a lot of vintage linens in this room there's some beautiful clocks that huge gorgeous oil painting and as we keep panning over you'll see all kinds of stuff this is like a museum where you can actually purchase the exhibits i love this and this is a vent another vendor area and look at all of these adorable pieces lamps you know just anything that you can think of you can more than likely find it at dream maker wanamaker and i'm not saying that just because i have my stuff in there I'm saying that because it's true. You can spend hours walking around in this place because we are going over the just the downstairs quickly in, you know, about 10, 11 minutes here. Cubby holes everywhere. This is a small hallway that actually leads you back to the room that my stuff is in. But if we keep walking this way and if you look up, you'll see more shops this way. I love the this bookcase. There is, is some really interesting vintage things on here, and it's different all the time. You know, vendors are coming in, they're swapping out their inventory, they're putting in new inventory, all of these handmade cards, these gorgeous hand-painted Christmas ornaments, absolutely beautiful, one-of-a-kind gifts for someone for Christmas or for yourself just neat and we're going to keep going this room that we're getting ready to look into i'm going to do a separate video on it as well uh it is still in construction and i'm putting that in quotation marks the, the gentleman who is responsible for that room is still filling it up and there's one of the stairwells that will lead you upstairs again we're going to do a different video with the upstairs but look at this, next to the stairwell, here is another hidden cubby hole with all these adorable handmade items in it. It's just mind blowing as to how many different nooks and crannies. There's a guitar right there. Anybody who loves guitars might wanna check that one out. And there again, we're giving you a little sneak peek. And as we move on, we're going to go around this little corner we've already walked past this hallway but there are a couple of bookcases in this hallway that are just loaded always loaded of course things disappear as they're being purchased but no worries because it doesn't take long for a new item to show up we have some harley davidson stuff up here on the top shelf and there's a sign where 
gives you information on if you have stuff that you want to sell. You, it gives you an idea on what your cost is. That's the restroom. And this is one of my favorite, another one of my favorites. This is the tea closet. And if you love hand blended teas, you definitely need to check this tea closet out. And if you're not sure where it's at when you walk in, just ask either ask where the tea closet is or ask where the restroom is because this closet is right next to the restrooms in Dream Maker of Wanamaker. All these different blends, I mean, just absolutely, it tickles the senses. I, my nose was just in heaven while I was filming this. And there are times when I'm there that I just stick my head in the tea closet and take a deep breath because it smells absolutely amazing. And there are a lot of accessories in there for tea. And here is their info for their Facebook page. Follow them. So that's it for this one. But of course, here's the information for my Facebook page as well. If you want to see more, you want to see what's going to any of the booths that I have on restock day, just give my Facebook page a follow. And I'm also going to be leaving the info for Dream Makers page in the description of this video. So that's it for today. See ya. Bye.